Hey guys, so today we are talking about toners, essences, and lotions. Um, last week I talked about cleansers. If you haven't seen that yet, then I will leave links everywhere. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to show you what I'm currently using and absolutely loving in my routine right now. The order of products used in an Asian skincare routine following cleansing should be toner and then essence. But again, the labeling on products, particularly the Korean ones, can be so confusing sometimes. The reason toners are the first product you use right after cleansing is because their purpose is to replace lost hydration during the cleansing process, but also it's to soften the skin and prepare it for the upcoming onslaught of great ingredients um, and products that are about to go on and to help them permeate better. So for me, whatever product achieves that goal is what you should use as the first product after you cleanse. So whether it's called a toner or booster or lotion or essence or skin softener, um, a lot of times the name will also include a first which can really help you identify, okay, this is the first product I use after cleansing. So the toner I use, or the product I use immediately after cleansing, are very different in my morning and evening routines. So my favorite product to use in this step is this one by Suwasu. It's their First Care Activating Serum. Again, ignore the name, it can be really confusing. Um, it's also been called a booster, um, a booster serum. But regardless, it is a first care product. So I was told that in out of all the Suasu products, this is by far the best selling item. This is one of those products where you don't know what it does for you until you're not using it and then you realize, okay, there's a difference. This is like a herbal extract water. It's got a whole host of medicinal herbal ingredients. Um, it's quite potent for being incredibly watery. I actually love the fragrance of this. It's quite medicinal, it's sort of ginseng-y, um, but I think it's quite pleasant. Some people can't stand it. But yeah, this is a product that sinks into your skin immediately without a trace. And of course, the other product I absolutely love in this step is Misha's Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. This is a lot more affordable than Suasu's First Care Serum. Again, I feel like there's a little confusion around this because it's named an essence. People feel like this is a traditional essence which should be used after toning. I would not use a toner before using this because I feel like that would dilute the all the goodness which is in this liquid that should just go on and be absorbed right after cleansing. So this is 80% fermented yeast concentrate, and yeast is a form of vitamin B. Um, there's also niacinamide in here, which is also vitamin B. Vitamin B is so good for your skin for so many, so many reasons. So I have a video that talks about fermentation and skincare. I will link that below. It will probably appear up there too. And one of the things I do point out in my video is that fermentation creates acidity, which is so great for this step because that will subtly um, remove the dead skin cells on your on the surface of your skin so that the other really good ingredients can permeate deeper and easier and better. Again, this is very liquidy, it's very watery. Um, you apply it on your skin and it disappears immediately. There's no film on top of your skin. You don't feel anything filmy, it just disappears and you're good to go for everything else. So the toners that I use in my evening routine are acid toners. Even though you can also use acid toners in the morning, I choose not to because my skin already is super sensitive to the sun. I burn like this. And AHAs definitely increase your sensitivity to UV. And right now, AHAs are what I use. I don't really use BHAs that much because my um, skincare needs, I think for BHAs, it's great for if you are acne prone or if you have oily skin. AHA right now is so great for me because it deals more with the brightening, with the pigmentation, and I really love the gentle exfoliation they provide. They're really great for dull skin, clogged pores, anything on the surface of your skin. And if you have any superficial kind of scarring on your face, like the redness left behind by acne, then AHAs are so good for that. So one of my favorite products in existence, probably one of the most game-changing products I've ever used, 
is this one. It's the Lotion P50W um, 1970 by Biologic Recherche. This is a facial in a bottle, a complete facial. This does so much for your skin. It regulates your pH, it keeps it low, um, it exfoliates, it hydrates, it controls your sebum, it brightens, it cleans your pores. This is just, um, it gives you a glow. It's just um, the perfect, perfect facial product. Probably the worst thing about this is its scent. It smells like burning rubber. It's actually a very strong vinegar smell. There's vinegar in this and you will know right away. There's a little bit of tingling, but there's no stinging. There's no rawness. There's no, there's nothing. It just, I just get this um, tingling coolness, feeling of coolness. And I mean, it feels like it's working. This actually doesn't contain glycolic acid in it. It contains a bunch of AHAs that are a lot gentler, um, but equally, if not even more effective on your skin. So there are a couple of different formulas for this. Um, there is the P50, which is the original. There's P50V, which is for mature skin, and P50W for sensitive skin. This is definitely pricey, well worth it. So another acid toner that I really love, and it's a lot more reasonable in price than the um, Biologic Recherche, is this one by Clarins. It is their um, gentle exfoliator and it's also a brightening toner. This one actually has a very pleasant scent. If you're used to Clarins products, then it is definitely a Clarins scent to it. Um, but it's also very gentle. I don't feel any stinging. I don't feel a thing. Um, it's hydrating, it exfoliates, it brightens your skin. Well, I never treated this toner as a um, everyday type of toner. I sort of treated it as an alternative to uh, scrub exfoliating. So this was my exfoliator, which I did probably twice a week. Every once in a while, I'll switch it up. I'll be using the Biologic Recherche, and then every once in a while, I'll use this at night. And the last acid toner that I've used and I really like is the Pixi Glow Tonic. So this and the Biologic Recherche are both formulas that contain zero alcohol. Um, the Clarins is the only one that contains a little bit. So this uses 5% glycolic, but it also has aloe vera and it's got ginseng. And this is actually a fantastic skin softener. That is what I feel immediately after using this. In fact, it's weird. This almost feels like a regular toner because you don't get the at least I don't really get much of the tingling or, or any of that. In fact, it feels like a hydrating toner, and this is really good with, for people with dry skin. And the scent is very soapy, but it's not unpleasant. I'm, I'm good with it. Now, a traditional essence is a lighter version of a serum. It is still considered a skin treatment, so it is a concentration of ingredients to target a specific um, skin problem or skin issue, but it's not as concentrated as a serum or an ampoule. You use an essence right before you use your serum as your second step after cleansing. So after toner and before serum. So a little background on essences. They were developed because Asian women have a thinner moisture barrier than other races. So we tend to get dry and dehydrated very quickly. So for oilier skin types, this may be a product that's just a little too heavy for you. Although I have noticed that there are some really good essences that have come out um, specifically for um, oilier skins, you know, that are tea tree based and, and whatnot. So now that we're in the fall, I'm introducing essences back into my skincare routine. In the summer, I actually just choose to go from acid toner straight into serum so that it's like direct absorption. But right now I'm really loving the essences, so I'm gonna show you two of my favorites. So definitely one of my favorite essences is May Coop's Raw Sauce. I'm so excited because you can actually now get this in Sephora. Um, this is really something else. So the formula of this is made out of 100% Acer maple water. And basically the theory uh, behind this is that the particles of uh, maple sap water are so small, they're smaller than regular water particles, and in fact, they're the identical size to those of our own bodily fluids, which as a delivery system enables the fluid and everything in it to absorb better into our skin and our bodies. So this maple water is packed with herbal botanical floral complexes that just um, 
you know, intensely hydrate your skin, creates a stronger moisture barrier, and just gives you this healthy, healthy skin glow. Now, the application of this, um, you know, you just put it on your hands and you just tap it in. What is kind of amazing about this, and this is unlike any essence I've ever used, is that it's really got this silky, silky texture. I mean, it absorbs immediately, it absorbs right into your skin, and you don't feel any kind of film or tackiness, but it leaves, it really changes the texture of the surface of your skin. Your skin all of a sudden feels really, really silky smooth, like you put some kind of primer on, and it's kind of amazing. So right now I've been alternating raw sauce, <laughs> what a great name, raw sauce, um, but I've been alternating that with um, this, which is Belif Hungarian Water Essence. I really love this because it is just very clear cut, it adds hydration to your skin. End of story. The stuff is so lightweight, it just sinks into your skin and it does its job. And your skin just feels so much better after you use it. Now, and now onto lotion. Lotion is more of a Japanese cosmetic term. Actually, you see it in a lot of French skincare as well. And basically all it is, is a hydrating toner. And um, I use this step because of this product. Hadalabo's Gokujin um, uh, Hyaluronic Acid Lotion. So my skin is prone to flakiness, dry patches, and uneven skin texture, which is horrible if you're applying makeup. And the one thing that really, really helps it is this, Hyaluronic Acid. And this is probably the best Hyaluronic Acid product I have used. There are some that are so much more expensive, from really, really good brands that just don't do what this does. So this is a step that I use in the morning, right after serum, right before all my moisturizers. So that's it for my favorite toners, essences, and lotions. I hope you didn't find it too confusing. I know I get confused sometimes. So if you have any questions regarding this subject, then please leave them down below. I will do my best to answer them. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more of my future videos. And um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.